morning guys, I'm Siobhan, a first year medical resident. Today I'm going to be taking you on a typical day in a hematology rotation. So those are doctors who deal with blood disorders. And fun fact about me, I actually don't drink coffee. I know, weird for a doctor, um, but I love my tea so I'm going to have it this morning and whenever you see me walking around with cups, they're always tea and not coffee. So in hematology, you get to see patients in the inpatient setting in the hospital and in the outpatient setting, like in clinics. So it's a great rotation in that way. Um, so we start out today in the morning, we'll be in clinics, and then in the afternoon we get to check up on our patients that are in the hospital. All right, so this is where I've got clinic this morning. I basically get to bring patients into this room, see them, make a plan, write my note, and then I go and review with my staff and the team to see if they agree and then the whole team comes in. So sometimes it's a little bit of a longer process for the patient if they have to wait, but I think more minds thinking about their case is actually a good thing. So um, yeah. Now that clinic's done, it's definitely time for another tea and some lunch, plus a little bit of studying. I actually prefer doing this when it's possible rather than waiting until I get home in the evening, but honestly, it's not always possible. Next, it's time to head over to the inpatient part of the hospital. I'm starting out by seeing a patient with a blood cancer called chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and then a patient with hemolysis, which basically just means that their red blood cells are getting destroyed faster than they should be. So it's a lot faster following up on patients when you're on a consulting service. So I'm not the main doctor looking after everything for these patients. So um, I'm just going in there looking at the hematology concerns. So clotting, bleeding, um, are they sort of other cells breaking up because of their cancer, things like that. So I just saw um, six patients on the medicine floor. Now I'm just heading upstairs to the surgical floor to see some patients who've had operations and some trouble with bleeding. And when you do a specialty like this, you sometimes see some very unusual things that you would never see anywhere else. Um, I can't actually talk about um, the uh, type of genetic condition that I just saw because you might be able to identify a patient, but just wanting to say that it can be very interesting and you can learn a lot from the patients themselves when you talk to them about this condition that they've lived with their whole life. Done for the day, woohoo! So this is the big moment for me. If I leave the hospital and think, woe is me, I'm so tired, there's like no way I'm gonna exercise at all. So I've gotta leave the hospital thinking, okay, yeah, great day. I definitely am gonna have a great bit of gym time when I get home. So gotta play that mental trick on myself right now. All right, just got home, changed and ready to go to the gym. I'm telling you, it's like I can already predict the thoughts. I get home and then I'm like, oh, I'm really hungry. Maybe I'll just grab something to eat first. And then what happens? I eat my food, then I'm like, mmm, should probably wait until I've had a chance to digest a bit. I'm not gonna be able to run or do anything. I'm gonna get a stitch. And then I'm like, oh man, well, now I'm, it's just too late to go. I'm just too tired and like, I probably need to study. And you know, I can go to the gym tomorrow, but I really need to be studying each day. So it's like, it's like clockwork. I know what's gonna happen. So yes, I am hungry right now. I really just wanna sit and have like a really early senior citizens dinner at like 5.30, <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm gonna get myself to the gym. This is self-talk to Siobhan right now. Siobhan, you are gonna go to the gym. You're gonna have a great time. Then I'm gonna have dinner. So that is my typical day. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about hematology. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be chatting with you guys next week. So bye for now.